Like, there's like a different sewer within the Great Bazaar. Maybe I wasn't supposed to enter it from this area. Maybe we try that. Let's try leaving. Probably should have set a mark at the beginning of a uh, dungeon. Let's see, hopefully I can find where I need to go. Oh, we're back here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. But they should be marked on the map. Okay, there we go. The temple. It's down here. much. Alright, well, let's uh, get out of here. Health and healing are my You could just kill this chick easy if you're in the brotherhood. Just walk through the damn sewers. Locked. Alexia knows Nancy. All right. You may not leave the city this way. <laughs> Based. Lock in the end, dude. That's kind of shit. Very interesting. The Great Bazaar. Great is being very generous. Can't breathe. Your words are your measure, Sarah. What kind of sickness do you got? <sighs> Sounds like something different than just a cold. Ooh, my legs, man, hurt. I'm gonna try to run every day. Forever, pretty much, but... I've only been a couple days back on them. <laughs> we'll see how they feel tomorrow. I might actually need to do a day rest. I'll we'll, we'll try to run most days. 
There's a lock. Shit, man. I'm taking some days off work. Me? Here. Nothing. I'm doing nothing. See? Hopefully that passes. Being sick is not as nice when you're older. Like, not like that, but like, you're not in school anymore. Like, it was cool getting sick when I was like high school, you know? It's like, oh, I'll get out of school, but it's just a pain any other time, especially nowadays. Really? Damn, man. Well, that's not gonna help much. Hopefully you're able to take it easy when you're there a little bit or something. Just to get it, uh, get it gone. Wouldn't, wouldn't want work to make it worse, but what can you do? What's good for the Empire is good for business, citizen. Being sick in America work? What do you mean? I mean, you're sick, if you got work, you need to ask off, or you take a sick day if you have any. Usually jobs allow you to have a certain amount of sick days, but, you know, if you're going to take those days off. When you're not sick, you'll run out of them when, for when you need them. Um, I don't know. Some jobs require you to get, like, a doctor's note to prove you were sick, depending on the kind of sickness. You get paid even if you are sick, it's national law. Uh, out here, there's a certain amount of days you get paid for. Like, if you take a sick day, if you have paid hours, you can cover it, I think is how it works in most places. But if you didn't have any, like, hours to cover it, and you took a sick day, you wouldn't get paid. That's a good law, though. You in Ovis Velos. Yeah, let's say you have like 40 hours of paid vacation or something. It depends, every place is really different. So like you could use some of those 40 on like the 10 hours maybe you missed when you were sick. Um, if it's just like a day or two. Some places have like sick days. I think they just cover. It really just depends. If you are on leave, like you have to be sick for like six months or something, they, I think by law, have to cover you, but it's usually a certain amount. Um, like you could pay for a special plan at Walmart. They would pay you like 75% to 50, 50 to 75% of your salary or whatever, or your, your wage or whatever if you got sick for an extended period of time but they also had a package that just paid you like a third or like just half it really it's really different i don't think there's like a set standard for it but i'm not the best to ask i haven't shopped around that much in the first place tidings and good wishes to your friend what can i do for you wouldn't get paid plus i get a point yeah <clears throat> out here you usually get fucked if you get sick <clears throat> if you can prove it, usually it's okay. But if you're not gonna go to the doctor and get it proven, some places are shittier about it than others. Usually you have a few days of sick time you can just have for free, like nothing's gonna happen. But, I mean if you're sick a lot, you might start running into issues at a lot of places. Definitely could be better. America! The health systems and shit is not the best. 
Most types workplaces have a month of vacation every summer, and then there's a one week vacation Easter too. Damn, dude. I'm moving to Norway, man. Yeah, out here. Depends on the job. Some jobs give you more vacation than others, but usually you just get a certain amount of hours. And then it's not more than a week a year. Probably. <laughs> I, don't, I can't. I can't think of a lot of places that give you just like paid vacation for more than like a week or two a year. Maybe a little more. Maybe more. Some places let you take time off and you don't get in trouble. My old job, I would take time off like two weeks a month and they're like, yeah, that's fine. There's nothing against it in the rules. You just don't get paid. So, I, you know, you could just take time off and it was whatever. You don't get in trouble if you schedule it. It's if you do it like on the drop of a hat. One point instead of three, yeah. It, it's it's different for each place. There are laws, but I don't. It's not. I don't know the standards because everybody's so different from each other. Yeah, having a month of vacation every summer and then like a couple of weeks here would be awesome. You get holidays out here. <gasps> there's some holidays that like jobs have to let you take off, but there's not many. Like just like one day, and job and jobs out here will push and, and scream as much as they can to not get you to take any of those days. So it's usually like Christmas, Thanksgiving, I think Labor Day. You get off for guaranteed. I don't remember if you get paid on those days. Well, I think so. Maybe, like maybe by law you do. I I don't know exactly. I just was like, oh well, we got a day off here and we don't. Everyone gets paid vacation here, though. That's the law. Um, there's paid vacation here. I think the amount you get per job is different, but every place has a certain amount of time you can take off and get paid. Yeah, mental, mental and, like, physical problems, you're usually okay. You just have to get the right amount of proof. There's a lot of, like, hoops you have to go through, but... I think by law they kind of have to. Like I said, though. Walmart Christmas Bay comes out of your PTO? Yeah. Uh, that's what I mean. Is like, everybody, every business out here is just... Pushing, kicking, and screaming to like, I feel like to fucking get just a little bit extra out of you. It's kind of a shame, but yeah, I don't know. It's definitely, I wish there was more just like laws in place. But that's okay. Like, my last place was decent. I didn't need as much money as I was making. So I took just a lot of time off, and it didn't matter. I, mean, I was probably the only person in the entirety of Walmart who took that much time off, but it just kind of wouldn't break any rules. I paid, I used PTO on what I wanted, and that was it. That was allowed. I mean, it maybe didn't look the best, but some places you can't take, like, a couple of fucking days off for a year. Outside of your PTO. It's really just varied. Forced to take vacation. Um, out here. Um, they'll either highly recommend you take. Some places will highly recommend you take vacation, or you have the option to just get it paid. Like, let's say you have 40 hours of paid time off you haven't used before it rolls over. Usually people will just give you those 40 hours in money. So, I don't know if you're ever really, like, forced to use it. But I think they do have to compensate you in some way. I don't think you just lose it, ever. 
I could be wrong. Maybe some places you do. I don't think legally you can just lose it. I think they either have to pay your PTO out or uh, you just have to use it. The problem is like sometimes scheduling your time off is a bitch for some people. So. My job I have to use my vacation days before the end of the year. Do you get paid if you don't use them? Or do you just get fucked? It's never easy, is it? Taxes are high. Yeah, I mean, with all those extra, extra services and laws, and I'm sure the healthcare or whatever. I don't know what kind of healthcare you guys got. That has to come from somewhere, but I don't know, man. I don't know how bad our taxes are compared to your guys's, but I'd almost rather have things like that. I mean, if it's things that everybody is going to use, sure. I don't want to pay for things that only is going to help like five percent of people, but. Some things are fine. University's totally free. See, yeah, you gotta pay for university out here. A lot of people don't get to go because it's too expensive and scholarships are wacky. It'd be better if you just could get it paid by the government or through taxes or whatever. Like, that's something I would... That's, yeah, that's something that's useful for everybody. I wouldn't mind. As long as the quality of education's good, like, having that come out of taxes, taxes and shit. It's like when the taxes are used for some like I don't know that I just don't care about. <laughs> That's going spooky, but I'm not a, I'm not a politician. I don't know where money's going and shit, sadly. But I don't think I'll have that problem. I think they paid some people whatever they had left. I don't know. Surely they have to. That'd be kind of fucked if not. Like you just want to work because you got to or something. Like get like a little extra paycheck at the end of the year. Fuck, dude. Oh, I'm ready, dude. Head out through the door, hit your mark in the center of the rug. It's only me here. My master, Sadura Kanatambani Hordolf Seer, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Not at all, Sergio. Please, may I offer you some flint? Anara, Sergio. than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sergio. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel. Yeah, only three people watching. Is there something wrong? No, Sergio. I know no one by that name. Ashlander and my master being of the house of Telvani, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sergio, I don't think they would be friends. Uh, 
Please, Sancho, go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal Imperial subjects. The fuck, dude? This shit sucks, balls, man. Not at all, Sergio. Please, may I offer you some flint? Anara, Sergio. More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sergio. Well, good luck. The Little soup sounds good. Tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? No, Sir Joe. I know no one by that name. That? That's strange. I don't remember. I it's possible that Jesus, my master dude. knew it's not since my brother come out of his room. But being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Kobani, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sir Joe, I don't think they would be friends. Please, Sir Joe, go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal imperial subjects. Okay, go on. Wakazashi. Not bad for an amateur in God's injustice. I don't think. Yeah, I've gotten quite a bit of Daedric shit. Not a bow, though, sadly. Too worried about it, lady. You seem to be doing all right for yourself. What can I do for you? What do you got, son? As usual, they can't bother giving somebody a fucking some bows, man. Sewers are around here. Magic shop. And we need to talk to the was the armor guy. Who was it? And the bookseller. 
There was a man who needed a woman. be matchmaker here. I don't really care about doing a whole lot of these side quests, but it's quick enough. See the end of this quest, but it's alright. Not terribly concerned. What we got in here, man. So this is where they're at. All right. Well, their shit's not so good anymore, man. With melee, is you're just gonna take a lot more damage. Adamantium Jink Blade. I can make. I always go to like an herbalist and just buy the shit I need. Oh, 
this guy's just invincible, dude. <laughs> I think the worst thing about all these expansions is that everybody just has paralyzed. That's like how they try to make it like difficult. Wow, dude. Fucking exciting. Killed them all. Sure, dude. My pleasure. Thanks for the shit ring. I'm actually chilling right next to the fucking Black Brotherhood, man. Or the Dark Brotherhood, Black Brotherhood. The Black Dark Gang. Buildings, huh? Interesting. You can't see exactly how far you've pulled back. In third person, really. Gonna kill all the Dark Brotherhood men. No <laughs> Beat these fucks down, man. Attacked. 
I need to buy a bunch of these, dude. He's like, I'm being attacked all by laughter like just came at me. What are you talking about, silent? I never use paralyze in my life. The game just crashed when I killed him, dude. Oh. Paralysis arrows? Dude. It's just because I had them, man. I never had a strategy that hinged on paralysis. I could have killed Umbra from the top of the mountain, man. Do you think paralysis made any difference? I was like, yeah, dude. I got these arrows especially here. Especially bought and purchased just to cheese the game, man. Picked them up. I always use my fucking special arrows before I use my other arrows because they're a bitch to fucking move through my inventory. Fuck you, dude. Let's take one of these for the road. The Night Mother. Shouldn't have came after me, dude. Report to a guard. Hey, who's H, bro? <laughs> Where's H, man? Was bugged or something? I 
Do I have to do his like goblin army quest first? He doesn't seem to care very much. We'll get a drink. This guy doesn't seem too concerned. I guess we could go do his quest. Maybe we have to. We'll be right back. My lads, my fellows. I guess we're supposed to just talk to her.
Tinius deleting his captain. Where do I find him? Missing so many hits. That's my proficiency. Give him the stronger he is. What happens if you give him a million, or does your money not <clears throat> ever get to a million? Hey, fortify lock. That's cool. I like it when they made it so you could just move slowly instead. Jesus, that's not even enough, man. Oh, that's fine, I'll just drop some shit. That's a nice way to get full ebony, man. Okay, like super nice to him, give him all that shit, and he's like fucking tries to kill you. And then we have to go back to Vivek and then this way and that way.
I'm not gonna get to use all these big jumps, man. Because I'm gonna be in fucking jackass land. God's reach, huh? Oh, that guy. What's he doing here? So, what do you guys think about this expansion? Overall, and compared to, uh... The Blood Moon. Lost Parade. This is the guy. I'll pretend I don't know about this, of course. I'll deny it publicly, but I'll take it personally. Every expansion starts a particular way, and then it always moves into uh, <clears throat> something else. No, he doesn't know much. Like, Blood Moon did it in a cool way. Where he kind of starts out as a, you just kind of going there and just to see what's up and then <clears throat> surprise attack and all that. On this one it's like you get the surprise attack and then you end up going and do the helping thing. I'm sure we're getting into political intrigue and shit now. easier to get out of these places. Everything's always gotta be a fucking like maze in this. Justice. The guards quarters has this big long epic hallway, not the entrance. Right. The palace courtyard, okay. City of light. It's you. Can I help you? City of Maja. The nine and the everybody thinks about the same thing. Move around on air. It's good. I always think more more control, man, more movement mechanics in a game is usually a good thing. It makes the task of just moving around and fucking around more entertaining in this. 
It's not like you have like insane control, but you get enough where there's like a little extra depth to the jumps and you can do more climbing and shit. I mean, since acrobatics is a skill, not being able to move at all is like sucks balls. Cause you can get like super jumps, right? But then you have like absolutely no small control over anything, which can make getting better jumps not good. It's just more fun. <clears throat> I mean, you're always walking around and jumping. I'd like them to be entertaining. Long live the king, baby. Okay, well. He doesn't have much to say, does he? Available for hire. The king is dead, along with the king. My immersion, boys, it's broken. I say when you just like float. Limit. Let's find out. So this is the great country of Morrowind. Water walking runs out. Hopefully, I can jump again so we can speed this up. Is this just like an infinite body of water or what, man? How long is this water walking gonna last, man? Water walking is always bugged, man. I always just end up floating above the water. I'm hoping for like a crash if we get far enough out of here. I think water walking's done now. I guess I could levitate, but then we gotta wait for levitate. Let's uh let's levitate then dispel. 